here we've got a design that I was working on. I was just wanting to do a kind of watering can was what I had in mind. OK, and I wanted to make it from various different kinds of prisms. And what I've got over here is a truncated cone. And I had to use some quite complex geometry to work out how to make the net from one piece of material for that truncated cone. And what I wanted it is I didn't want any tabs to join it together. I want these two ends here and here to join together completely seamlessly. OK, now when I cut this out, this was successful. It did work OK, but like I say, it did take quite a bit of complex um, geometry to work out how to do that. One thing you can do in on shape is you can use this tool here, the sheet metal model tool, and that will do all that for you. OK, I'm going to show you how to use that in just a moment. But before I do that, I just want to show you a couple of other little things that I've been kind of figuring out with this. OK, and um, you can see here that I've taken off the top uh, of the of this prism here and I've taken it off at, at an angle. And to go about doing that, what I did is I basically let's have a little look here. If I go to isometric. What I did is I selected this face here. Yeah, from here, what I found I could do is if I right click, I can create a section view. OK, what that means is it's going to chop away one half. Yeah, from this this sketch here. Yeah, it still exists. It's still available. OK, but it's just not in view at the moment. I can use this tool here so I can look at it in different angles, etc. But I'm going to keep it completely at zero. OK, and then what I did is I used my sketch number two. I created a new sketch Yeah, on that front work face. I created a sketch and you can see there. There's the sketch I created. Oops, there it is. And then I used my extrude tool. I'll take that there. I used my extrude tool. Let me show you this. To extrude that and remove material, to remove material symmetrically on either side. Yeah. Okay, so there we have it. Now, what I can also do, so I can just switch that back off, is like I say, we can use this tool here to work out the the net or also the known as the pattern to make this component out of sheet material it is for sheet metal but there's no reason why you couldn't use the same method if you want to make something out of a piece of sheet plastic or about uh, any any form of sheet material okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this tool select it select the object there we go and you can see straight away, this might not open straight away for you, but if you use this here, sheet metal table, flat view, we can open that up there and it'll give you the various parts that you would need to cut out to make this component. Now, I'm thinking what I would like to do is I'd like I said, I mentioned, I would like to make it as a net, OK? So we cut out the perimeter, then we can bend and we can fabricate this whole component out the minimum minimum amount of pieces, OK? <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Um, what I want to do is I want to get rid of this top. OK, I don't want it to be a solid, so I'm going to exclude that face there. Yeah, so we can see it's now an open vessel. And what I can now do is choose edges or cylinders to bend. OK, so I'm going to take my edges and I'm going to take this piece. And we can see straight away down here, it's joined these pieces together. And I can go around and I can select where I want the bends to make this template, to make this pattern. Now, I'm not going to click on this one here. If well, I will. Okay, you can see now, it just can't happen. Yeah, I couldn't have a bend here to join it with that. It's a joint. It's not a bend. Okay, and um, but I'll continue. I'll go around, add these pieces. There we go. And there we go. There, nearly there. <clears throat> There we go. That's how I produced the net to make this out of sheet material. OK, and um, next up, what I want to do is just to show you a couple of other little pieces. If we zoom in on these corner points, you can see them here as well. We've got holes here. OK, that's because we would probably have so much material going to that center that it would deform. Yeah, it wouldn't quite work correctly. So quite often what you might do is put a hole in there just to help it bend together with more precision. Any hole that remains that might leak water or anything like that would be filled with either your solder or with your weld. OK, and um, we can get rid of them. If I just show you here, we just go down to corner relief type. We can see here, have it closed. There we go. It updates. It's now closed. Now what I would like to do is take this 
pattern, yeah, take it into a drawing and put it in there in actual size, okay? So all I need to do now is I can just click over here, go to create drawing. We've done this previously. We're going to do it in A3. It's going to be in millimeters. We're going to drop that on there. Come on. Load that drawing. And we're going to take here from flat patterns. I'm going to put that part on there just for kind of reference purposes. Yeah, so we know what it looks like when it's all put together. And I'm going to put it in isometric as well so we can see it three dimensionally. It's just at a scale of one to two. We know how to put tables in, so if you want to specify what material, etc., we know how to go about doing that. We've done that previously. So if you want to put details about materials, anything like that, or adding notes or anything, putting dimensions, yeah. We've got our dimensions tool there. We've got our notes tool just over here, yeah. Um, insert another view. We're going to take from here from part studio. No, nope, we're going to go insert. This time we're going to have flat patterns. We'll have flat pattern two. And we'll have it a scale of one to one. We can drop that right here. And I'm also going to put insert. Flat pattern of part one. Make sure again it's the same scale, one to one. There we go. And there we go. We've got the template. Sorry, not the template. We've got the net or the pattern to create this object out of sheet material. Like I say, if you want to, you can go along, you can put your dimensions on, etc. So we know what size from here to say to here, how much material we're going to need. We can change that, you know, we know all this. We can change this with zero decimal places. We can use our settings over there so we can make uh, zero decimal places. We know that we're going to have, let's have a little look, it's going to need to be what sort of height we're going to need of material. Yeah, it's really good to have this here. Like I say, to use this 